been a very, very long time since we've been here. Still doing it. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're starting a new series and I have a couple of really awesome announcements, but just got off the Stairmaster, still doing my fasted cardio in the mornings, but before we get started today, there is one thing I have to do in order to start this series off right. Let's go do it. made it back and it is breakfast time. So in the mornings, four times a week, I do do my fasted cardio four days a week whenever I'm able to. I'm not like super strict on it, but we are doing uh, cardio for 20 minutes, four times a week. And today, like I said, to start off our series right, the purpose of this video is to kind of tell you guys like what's to come and it's very, very exciting. I know a lot of you have, have wanted the fitness videos back and I'm bringing them back and we're starting a new series. In order to start this new series, my mom always told me jumping in the ocean is like starting fresh and that's exactly exactly what I wanted to do on a Monday for a new series and a new month. It's gonna be great. Before we get too far into it, let's go ahead and talk about breakfast here. For breakfast, nothing too crazy. I've kind of like gotten past my post-show like cravings and stuff. I don't really crave food as much anymore even though I still love to eat. Uh, nothing too crazy, three whole eggs. We have one cup of egg whites which I drink. This is actually two whole eggs and I make the pancakes and I put I put an egg in here. So three whole eggs with two cups of pancake mix, coffee, and water. By the way, check out how awesome this mug is. If you guys didn't see the uh, the top rank car meat video, definitely check that out. It's a uh, subscriber actually gave this to me, which is super cool. But that is my breakfast. Uh, I'm not really counting macros right now. I'm working with my coach who does all of my training for my shows. So we don't really count macros. We just have a set meal plan that like works for me, I guess. Uh, but if you guys want a full day of eating, Eating and want me to like walk through my entire macros for the day let me know I'll definitely do that for one of for one of the fitness video updates today's gonna be awesome so I'm gonna take you guys through my chest workout and give you my big announcement once we're done with all of that but I don't want my food to get cold so we're gonna go ahead and smash this meal and uh, start off with the egg whites cheers oh yeah if you're not a huge egg eater like me and you have to eat a lot of eggs to get your protein in in the morning, an easier way that I've found to take down egg whites is to drink them. But the trick, the trick is to hold your breath while you're actually drinking them, have your coffee readily available, and then take a sip of coffee before you actually breathe after eating your egg whites. That's, that's the easiest way. Don't even taste it. So now, eggs and pancakes. Just finished up breakfast and we were about to head to the gym, but I actually just got this package in and this is just one of the really exciting announcements that I wanna make in this video. So let's go ahead and open this up real fast. Ugh. Okay, so this is actually something that I am just like, oh wow, stuff for Tiana too. This is actually just something that I am beyond stoked about. This is an Alpha Elite package and I am very, very happy to announce that I am now a part of the Alpha Elite team. If you head to the first link in the description, you can actually use my link or just go to the Alpha Elite site, use my code Dustin to help support me on Alpha Elite. So I am super, super excited to announce that I'm actually part of the Alpha Elite team now. So I will be rocking a bunch of Alpha Elite stuff. They actually sent stuff for Tiana. Go ahead and dig through all this stuff and get to the, uh, you know, my stuff. We got a bunch of different things. If you guys want to stay till the end of the video, I'll go ahead and show you guys all the, uh, the Alpha Elite stuff that I actually got. Let's go ahead and put something on right now. Let's go ahead and choose so much stuff. All right, try this on. Let's see. So this is actually one of my favorite shirts that uh, Alpha Elite makes. I got it in the t-shirt this time. I went ahead and got it in the cutoff, which is super dope. So let's actually go ahead and change into this bad boy. 
Oh yeah, much better. Now we are set and ready to get an awesome workout in. I just love the feel. This is amazing. So if you guys are interested in awesome athletic clothing, I'm sure you guys have already heard of Alphalete. You can actually use my code Dustin or just head to the link in the description and help support me on Alphalete. Now that we went ahead and opened up this package, let's go get an awesome chest day in. Before we head to the gym, you guys know my pre-gym ritual, Koala Freak Legends pre-workout edition. This is my favorite pre-workout, not only because it's like mine, of course, but it actually is really, really good and it gives me a really good pump while I'm at the gym. So if you guys want to try this stuff, the link to Staunch and this actual pre-workout, which is my version, the Legends Sour Grape, will be down below. You can also use my code on the screen to save yourself 20% off of anything that you want on the site. So, all right. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. When it says it's sour, it's sour. It's so good though. Uh, it's chest pump time. We have made it to the gym. I'm gonna go inside and get started. I'm thinking for today, we will do a voiceover workout just because I haven't done one in a very long time. And I think I have a lot to say about the way that I'm training right now versus like on show prep. And then once we get back, I'll make, I'll go ahead and tell you guys the big announcement, which is like why I'm making this entire video because I'm very excited. But if you guys are interested in my mass building off season chest workout, we're gonna go through the entire workout today and inform you guys on my training split and stuff like that right now. So, oh yeah, by the way, if you guys have haven't seen it yet check out the new video on the GTR steering wheel this is probably my favorite mod on the entire car so far I am so stoked on this uh, it was my last video pretty awesome so we're gonna go ahead and go inside the gym and get a pump man it's kind of weird that I'm back doing voiceovers for workouts but I'm super excited about it so like I said we're gonna go over my mass building chest workout here and this is personally that something I like to do and what works for me uh, definitely for the off season so what I like to do before I actually start my workout I warm up, I put my wrist wraps on because if you guys don't know, I did tear my bicep and I don't know why, but in my left arm, I get weird like wrist pain from the bicep tear. So these wrist wraps actually really, really help me out and it makes me uh, feel a lot better. But we are warming up with just 135. Uh, in the rep ranges, I go anywhere from like eight to 12. And then when I get to my higher top sets, I'll do uh, six to eight. So what you're gonna see here is me switching over to a set of 12 with 185 and this will be my first working set here I like to keep my hoodie on as well because it keeps me warm at least for like my first exercise just so I'm for sure all warmed up and ready to go but the uh, the 185 actually moved really really easy now for my top sets I'm moving into a little bit heavier weight I am trying to go as heavy as I possibly can without a spot and it's always kind of harder to work out when you don't have a spot but of course i'm doing what i'm capable of and i'll push myself to the limits as far as i can go for me and right here it is 225 for sets i think the first time i got it for eight and then the second time i was able to get it for six so that's what i crushed on incline bench and for now i choose to do incline bench as my first chest exercise just because i feel like during my workout that works best for me Next up for the exercises, I'm going to do dumbbell bench press. And right here, I'm, I'm using the 100. I'll go from anywhere around 6 to 8 reps. Like I said, for my big compound movements, I want to do heavier weight before I get into my accessory movement. So my incline, my regular, and if I decide to do decline, I will go as heavy as I possibly can. Moving into my first set of accessories, we're going to be doing an incline fly with a slight twist at the top. And we're also going to superset these with kind of a uh, like an inner chest press. So once I finish my set of 10 with these flies, we're gonna move into a press that you guys will see in just a second. Here's the press that I'm talking about. I definitely feel it in my chest and it works a little bit of my triceps as well. Just a good uh, finisher for that exercise. And I do four sets of 10 on both the fly and the press here. And lastly, for our chest exercises, we're going to do alternating chest fly on the chest fly machine. It is very, very easy to overtrain. That's something that I don't want to do, especially with growth. One of the most important things about growing muscle is resting. You're not actually building the muscle while you're working out. You're tearing it down. So the most important thing is to rest. Now, a lot of people overdo it and do way too many exercises, which is actually pretty unnecessary. I go as hard as I can for the four to five exercises of the body part that I'm training on. So my current split right now is chest, back, legs, shoulders, arms, and I'll hit back again. On my first chest and back day, I do alternate with chest and tries. 
and back and arms just because I feel like my back and my arms specifically are my two weakest points. I really think that my chest is developed and my shoulders are developed as well. So my two main working points have to be my arms and my back. But as you can see right here, I am finishing off our chest day with a couple of uh, tricep accessories. So right here we're doing four sets of 12 to 15 on pull downs. And then we also switch it up and go to one arm alternating with just a handle. And this is just a little finisher because like I said, I do have a dedicated arm day where I do go a little bit harder on the arms. But I like to finish my chest and my back days off with you know triceps and biceps so that's pretty much the entire workout that's my full chest day as heavy as i can go and throwing in some volume in there finishing it off with a couple of tricep exercises awesome and successful chest day we went pretty heavy today which was awesome uh, that's the best part about off season is getting all of my strength back actually feeling pumped in the gym and excited to work out you take it for granted when you're on prep but let's go home get our post-workout meal and i'm gonna give you guys the big announcement post-workout meal all the ogs know about the protein shake with the oats and the mixed berries but before we actually eat this i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the big announcement that i've been waiting for Okay, so this is actually super exciting. I would like to actually officially announce that, that I am competing in the physique category again in 2020. Now I'm super excited about this because we are moving on to the big stage. I was gonna compete in summer shredding again next summer, but it's too close to me and Tiana's wedding and I definitely don't wanna be on prep anywhere near our wedding time. So I will be competing in the San Diego Classic, which is actually a massive, massive show with people who actually do this for a living. So summer shredding, last year was a really good entry point to see where I could get my body to and to see if I could actually do it and push myself and I ended up coming out with first at summer shredding now summer shredding is not in any kind of league or category it's just a show for fun I guess and a show to try to try bodybuilding out which is exactly how I looked at summer shredding now the San Diego classic is a real ass show like this is people who compete to get to nationals and then to get their pro card go to San Diego classic this this is the, this is the, uh, what was it called? NCA, N NPA, NPC, the NPC. This is the NPC, not National Physique Competition. So I don't, honestly, I don't really remember. I just know that that's very, very important. And I'm kind of nervous. I saw what my body could do last year and I want to push myself even harder this year to the absolute limit. I want to be bigger. I want to come in stronger, leaner, everything. I want to absolutely crush it more than I did last year. And I want to come out first at an NPC competition, which I think I can do. Uh, we've been crushing it on, on this off season. So the reason why I wanted to wait to eat because I'm going to give you guys a quick physique update on what my current off season physique looks like and my weight real fast even though it's not completely accurate because I've already eaten breakfast and drinking some water but right now I'm sitting around 207 to 210 pounds it could be a little bit under could be a little bit more just depends on the day but it is around 1 p.m. and the only meal I've had so far was breakfast I'm a little bit late but we're gonna get my weight and do a quick physique update uh, just to like start off this new series shirt off shoes off let's see what we're weighing in today nice so today we are a 208.6 pounds. Like I said, right around 207 to 210. Now, what I would like to see before my off season stops and I start on my prep is around 212. I'd really like 215, but Compared to last year, I am so much leaner at this weight than I was last year. If you guys remember my prep last year, I started out like 217, but I was just like fluffy. I was chubby, and I honestly, I didn't really feel good at that weight. But at this weight, I feel strong. I look pretty lean, um, and I can feel myself gaining size. So I'm gonna give you a quick, a quick physique update now. Since you guys have last seen, let me lower this. Since you guys have last seen a physique update. I kind of feel like I have lost a lot of my of my shape, I guess. Not not too much size, but a lot of my shape. I'm not as cut. My muscles aren't as rounded, and that's because I'm not eating as lean. Uh, I am trying to put on size and gain weight, and fluffiness does come along with all of that. But I feel like I still have kept a lot of size. Uh, I'm gaining a lot of muscle. I can feel my muscle. Like, it's weird to say, but I can feel my body mass is more muscle, if that makes any sense. I just feel better. I don't know. It's kind of weird to say, but uh, as you guys know, 
208.6 pounds right now. This is my current relaxed and my back. I'll probably have to work on my posing again, uh, get back into the groove of things, but I'm really happy to announce that I will be competing at the San Diego Classic. So if you're in California, in SoCal, and you wanna come see me compete at the show, you are more than welcome to come do that. I'd love to see some support from you guys, but uh, yeah, this is, where, this is uh, the honest starting point. Oh yeah, we are gonna have some work to do. And the good news is I am, uh, I will be working with my coach from last year so he knows my body type, he knows what my body likes, what it doesn't like, what works for me, and it'll be easy for us to gauge like the week leading up to the show on what I should do to like get my body best ready for show day. So I'm, I'm very, very excited. I hope you guys are very excited as well. Okay. Since this is a new series and I'm not doing summer shredding so it can't be like the road to summer shredding, I'm gonna need a new series title. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what on what I should call this series, leave them in the comments down below. I would need suggestions. I want this to be good. I'm going to film the depths. I'm going to go into the depths and the details with this prep because at the end, I want to do a crazy transformation video on my starting today versus my very, very ending uh, show day video. So. I think it'll be really cool. I'm very, very excited. And I hope you guys are excited that the uh, the fitness videos are coming back. The goal is to just motivate and inspire you guys. Whether or not you wanna do a competition or you wanna live a healthy lifestyle, my goal is to just inspire you to be healthy, feel good in your own skin. Uh, that's all I want for you guys. And a lot of you at the car shows I go to have expressed that and I'm so happy that I could bring that to you guys. So it's shreds time. Well, not yet, we're still gonna Still gonna get a little fluff in here before we start, but let's go ahead and eat our post-workout meal and check out some of the athlete stuff. That is gonna do it for my video today. I hope you guys are stoked that the fitness videos are coming back and it'll be a nice transition into them. I'm gonna hope to get a couple of out in the month of November to you guys, but after November, after Thanksgiving, that is when prep starts, so you guys will get a fitness update pretty much every single week until my show from November until March. So get ready, I wanna start incorporating them and hope you guys get excited and get motivated from what I put out to you guys. So once again, huge thank you to Alphalete. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 500K before 2020. Let's try and make it happen. I think we can do it. Be sure to tell your mom, your dad, your whole family. Let's get, let's get it to 500K before 2020. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget. Also, this week is the very last week to get your entries in for the Mugen SI giveaway. If you haven't already, go to the Legends link down below. Every $5 that you spend on the Legends store is one entry to win. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.